Hello human, thank you for being on the channel. Dear Basketball is an animated short that is voiced by the great legendary Kobe Bryant, one of the best basketball players of all time. When I was growing up, sports was on a lot of the time, basketball being one of them. I saw players like Michael Jordan and Kobe Bryant on and off, even though I wasn't really following basketball like that. I had an awareness of Kobe Bryant. In this short, it chronicles Kobe Bryant's time as a child and how he fell in love with the game of basketball and he pictured himself in a position to play in the NBA, to be one of the all-time greats. And I was completely immersed within everything that he said the animation style as it looked like a drawing coming to life I thought was a nice touch. On a scale from 1 to 10, 1 being horseshit on a hot, smelly-ass day, and 10 being mind-blowingly amazing, I'm going to give this a 10 out of 10. It's absolutely beautiful. It's sad. It's powerful. The idea of, you know, a person just finding out at a very young age exactly what they want to do in life is very important as a lot of humans remain lost and they do what others tell them to do and they are afraid to pursue their dreams and passions. Uh, Kobe Bryant, from what I've seen of him, he seemed like a nice guy. From what I've seen of him playing basketball, he was special. There will never be another Kobe Bryant. There will be other great basketball players, I'm sure. And I'm pretty sure currently you have some great ones. Uh, humans say LeBron James. But to me, this is something that really felt like basketball. Um, and Kobe Bryant, to my understanding, was going to get into filmmaking and stuff like that. And I think he would have did a much better job than, say, somebody like LeBron James, who has made uh, Space Jam 2. That shit was trash, and he's about to fuck up House Party. I think Kobe Bryant would have brought something special to filmmaking. And uh, Dear Basketball, it was at the Oscars for a reason. And uh, if you like basketball, I would recommend that you check this out. If you like, if you love Kobe Bryant, maybe... You know, maybe you can't find it within yourself to watch this because it'll make you sad, but it, it's beautiful and sad all at the same time. And that's what you get when you have something that is truly artistic, something that is made with a lot of talent and passion. And even though this is short, like all of like five minutes, give or take. I would have enjoyed it if it were two hours long. I would have been willing to sit down and watch two hours of this. So I highly recommend it. Whether you are into basketball or not, just give it a shot. Won't take up much of your time and it's absolutely worth it. Me being a person that is not a fan of basketball, uh, not a fan of Kobe per se. I respect Kobe, but I can't claim to be a fan in that way so if it can get me to have a response like this I don't see why someone who loves basketball won't feel something stronger especially if you're an individual who is a fan of Kobe Bryant R.I.P. and uh, R.I.P. to those that were with him very sad and tragic what happened but uh, I have a feeling that humans are going to remember him for the years to come and uh, Dear Basketball is Terrence Approved. Terrence out.